Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to another Bollywood edition on my channel, aka the Desi Entertainment edition. Guys, this week I have a few things I want to talk about. I know I usually do Big Boss videos, but there are four things I want to talk about this week. I'm going to let you guys know that I have a cold. I'm really stopped up right now. It's kind of, it's a little hard for me to talk because I have just a lot going on right now, but I'm going to do my best. So I'm going to start off with my usual. We're going to talk about Big Boss for a few seconds here. Guys, I'm just so disappointed with this show right now and how, and just the turn that it has taken. Hithin is gone, or she is gone. The only person left that I like on the show is Vikas, and Vikas and I have a love-hate relationship because one day I'm rooting for him and the next I want to smack him in the face. He is consistent, but he can act like a child sometimes. Um, everybody else is driving me crazy. It's kind of sad that other than Vikas, the only other person that I find likable is Punish. And he's somebody that I had predicted that would leave very early on, but he did not. So it's kind of ironic. So at this stage in the game, I find it strange that they would have a nomination task like this where the contestants themselves are ranking themselves and the lowest ranked contestants would be nominated. The ranking itself was a joke. All three of these contestants being in front of Hina, Shilpa, and Vikas is ridiculous, and I think they knew it. And the fact that the celebrities allowed themselves to be ranked at the bottom, nominate the bottom four contestants, means that now Hina, Shilpa, Vikas, and Love are nominated. That's ridiculous, because <laughs> that means that Akash and Punish have a really high chance of making it to the finale, and they don't deserve it. This nomination also feels very, very rigged to basically eliminate love and love is not my favorite but he is so much better than Akash Akash does not deserve to be there he should have been out a long time ago <sighs> hey guys next let's talk a little bit of Bollywood Anand Rai's teaser for his movie Zero came out this week and it does star Shah Rukh Khan Shah Rukh Khan plays a dwarf in this movie and I was just very taken back by this teaser Something about it just did not sit well with me, and I do feel like if they were going to make a movie on a dwarf, it should have starred an actual dwarf actor. Something about it just does not feel right, and I don't mind the CGI because I actually really loved Fan. I think Shah Rukh Khan was great in it, he did a great job acting, and the CGI did not look unnatural. I liked it. So I'll refrain from saying anything negative about this movie, at least until it comes out and I see it or at least read some reviews, but something about it just feels wrong to me, so I'm not really sure how excited I am for it, but let's see. Next, let's talk music that I'm really into right now. There are two songs that I'm really, really into right now. Bollywood has let me down all year long, consistently. I feel like 2017 was not a great year for Bollywood. I'm usually very into Punjabi music, Bollywood music, Pakistani music, so it's kind of just all three of these that I'm really into. I like South Indian music a lot too, but this year I feel like I was very, very fixated on Punjabi music because of the serious lack of Bollywood music. So. Right now, I feel like the year ended on a really great note because we had Hardy Sandhu's Na, which released, which was great. Like, it's been weeks since it released and I'm still playing it on repeat. And on the other end, I also am so in love with Diljit Dosanjh's Rat Digadi. It's such a great song, so fun, very upbeat, and I love the video. It's so cute. I feel like Diljit Dosanjh can do no wrong when he releases songs. They're so great. Those are my two big time loves right now. Okay, so the last thing that I want to talk about today is a show that I'm super, super, super obsessed with right now, and that is the Pakistani drama Khani. I am so obsessed with this show, and it's kind of ridiculous, because I do remember a few weeks ago, if you guys follow my blog, I did write a blog post about how, as a pseudo-feminist, I am really against the concept of this show. The show basically follows Mir Hadi, who has a temper problem, and one day in a fit of rage, which is normal for him, he shoots Saim, who comes from a middle class family, and basically how Saim's death affects his sister, Khani, and their whole family. I mean, honestly, I can't even wrap my head around the story. At first, I was so against this show because I was like, I can't even imagine them trying to make a love story out of this. 
but after a few weeks have passed now, I have found myself so drawn into this show because Farouz Khan's acting, as always, is so good. He did it in Gulirana as well, where he played a very unlikable character and somehow came out looking really likable. And now he's doing it again as Mir Hadi, who is a terrible character, but he is a treat to watch. So if you guys aren't watching this show, it's a great show. I would recommend it. And it also has a great soundtrack. Rahat Fateh Ali Khan sings the song and it's really, really good. <laughs> So I would recommend it. Also, if you guys are not following my blog, I do write a Pakistani drama blog. The link is in the description box below, so please do click the link and read it if you are interested. Alright guys, that's all for this week. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!